women have been riding motorcycles as long as men. It's this new wave of women, showing women all over the world that you can get on your own bike, you don't have to ride on the back. I grew up in Northern California. My dad is a motorcycle enthusiast who restores vintage British motorcycles. He gave me a motorcycle of his to ride around the country roads. Motorcycles wasn't something I was exposed to until I was in my early 20s. I kind of just latched onto it and knew that I wanted that to be something that was a part of my life. Day trips slowly turned into weekend adventures, which turned into cross-country rides. Adventurous spirit is really sort of encapsulated on a motorcycle. The scenery that you get on those smaller roads that are away from the main highway to embrace the adventure as it unfolds. Riding a motorcycle in itself is an act of meditation. You have to be focused, but there's also room to daydream and take in, you know, the scenery and everything that's coming at you. It's a beautiful space to slow down no matter what speed you're going. You get in touch with the parts of your character or your personality that, you know, don't get a lot of playtime in regular life. Your patience, your adaptability. It can also give you the opportunity to reflect on yourself and live in the moment. That introspection is priceless. so visceral being on a bike. You know, you're really feeling what you're traveling through. It connects you so much more with the journey because you're not able to close your window against it. You're in it. I love that about traveling on a bike. It's just this amazing feeling of control and power. My first bike is a Harley, and I say is because it's still the bike that I own and ride all the time. Women have been riding motorcycles as long as men. It's this new wave of women, showing women all over the world that you can get on your own bike, you don't have to ride on the back. 